Welcome to the 10 Acre Woods. You wouldn't realize it, but it is minus 29 Celsius out right now. It's sunny, it's beautiful, but it's cold. So what we're going to talk about today is how to keep your water for your animals uh, warm or not frozen uh, through, the, uh, through the winter. So I ran into a neat idea uh, that's floating around. Uh, I thought I'd try it. It is, I believe it originated on Pinterest, uh, Facebook, uh, and it's putting water bottles full of salt inside of a water dish. Okay, so here I am out in the barn. This here is Sarge, our uh, friendly rooster. And uh, as you can see behind me here, we had a little photo shoot last night with a, uh, a church and a bunch of kids. And they uh, contacted us and wanted to come out and do, uh, do a photo shoot and some video. So I took this opportunity to, you know, use the set. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do today is I have three bottles of salt water, uh, water, uh, three fresh water, and I have two containers, two water dishes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to get the exact same temperature of water, and I'm going to pour the exact same amount in each dish. I'm then going to take three of the bottles filled with fresh water, three of the bottles filled with salt water, we're going to put them in the container and we're going to see how long it takes for them to freeze, for one, and is the salt water bottles going to affect the way the water in the dish freezes. So I needed water bottles for this experiment and of course when you need something you can never find it. So I ended up having to go out and look for some water bottles instead of going and buying water at a dollar, two dollars a bottle, whatever it costs nowadays, uh, I figured I would be resourceful and um, go find some water bottles on my own. Okay, so we're out in the front uh, room of our building that is uh, not heated. <laughs> this is where we store our wood and uh, a bunch of other things uh, like a wood chopper and whatnot. Anyway, um, these are the two containers here that I've set up. Uh, you can see the three bottles behind. Three are labeled S for salt and three are not labeled at all for fresh water. So I've kept those at room temperature for the last 24 hours. So they haven't deviated from any kind of uh, temperature. Neither one is colder than the other. I have dispensed a large container of water that is about 11 degrees. And I'm going to measure with this here in two liter increments. I'm not sure how much we're going to get in there. I'm going to try uh, two liters at first and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the last uh, amount that I'm adding in. So each container has four liters in each one. So I'm now going to take salt water, make sure the caps are on tight, fresh water, that one's a little loose, salt water, fresh water. fresh water. Okay, so now I'm going to set up my uh, GoPro and do a time lapse over top of these to see what um, to see what we see and when we see it. So hopefully um, it's not going to take all day and all night. We uh, should hopefully see some kind of um, results fairly soon. So I've chosen this location because uh, the sun is on the south side. This is the north side of the building. It's inside of a building, so it's sheltered from any kind of wind and any kind of sun. I'm going to leave the door of this building open just to make sure uh, the air stays uh, stays equal throughout. Um, but it's uh, it's sheltered nonetheless. So anyway, let's um, let's see what happens with that. I'll throw up a time lapse, uh, but. 
uh, I also, while that's happening, I have another little experiment that I'd like to try. Uh, something to do with the electric fence. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go check that out first while this uh, attempts to freeze. Okay, so my next experiment has to do with an electric fence. So I'm out here at my electric fence box, and as you can see here, we're running 19.2 uh, K volts. So 19,200 volts is running through the line. So we bought a, a higher voltage one because we had an issue with, I think it was a cow. Cows can be a little stubborn. And um, so we had to up the voltage. So that means there's 19,000, almost 20,000 volts running through the line. Um, when it has something to ground to, like an animal or a person, uh, it sits around 6,000 volts, I think. It drops down depending on, uh, on, on the load on the line. So I'm going to set up the camera, and I'm interested to find out, I've always thought of this, um, you know, if you have a foot of snow and you're standing on it, is that going to affect getting shocked by the electric fence? So I'm going to put, uh, put myself uh, on the line here for science, and we're going to find out. Okay, here we go. This here is the live wire. And I'm standing in about a foot of snow. So let's get her done. You can hear it clicking. I don't know if you can hear it clicking. Okay, so each click is a surge of voltage running through the line. Oh, no, just a little one. Okay, so I can feel just a pulse running through my hand. Now, I don't know if the ground's going to be frozen or not, but I'm going to dig. Dig right down. See if I can get grounded here. Okay. No, same thing. I'm wondering if it's my shoes. Could be my boots. The rubber on my boot. So, how do we solve that? We take off our boot. And also take the sock off too. Okay, I'm touching ground. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so it does, it does shock you. Uh, touching ground. Okay, I'm just going to put my foot on top of the snow. Let's see what happens. Whew. Okay, foot's on top of snow. Nothing. Okay, well, I think we learned something. That this line is pretty hot. <laughs> okay, now my foot's gonna get very cold, so I'm gonna shut down for now and head back inside and warm up. Well, the wind's starting to pick up. It's getting a little cold now. It's feeling a little cold. It's not too bad once the, uh, when it's calm, but uh, it's currently, Minus 25, wind chill of minus 36. So it's, uh, it's still cold staying out for long periods of time. Okay, so I am out here and I didn't set the, I didn't set the GoPro up because I figured, oh, the first hour, nothing's going to happen, right? Um, but something did happen. So we're going to forego the time lapse, which I kind of wish I now hindsight's 2020 um, and as you can see here we have some freezing going on uh, I am going to uh, turn on my light okay so here I've got my light on and you can see here looking on an angle that's uh, frozen right up 
right up to the bottle. And the salt water here is also frozen up to the bottle. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I will hook up the time lapse uh, with my tripod here. And um, we're just going to see how much more it's going to freeze. And maybe it won't be as thick. Um, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll set it up and we'll find out. Okay, here I am, three hours, three hours after I started the experiment on the water bottles. So, and in looking in this, we can see here that it's, it's actually pretty frozen. So, and if you can see that, you can see there's an ice chunk inside the water bottle. So that didn't work all that well. Uh, this here is the salt water and it appears to be about the same. Now the only difference that I'm expecting here is there is no ice inside the bottle because that's salt water and I expected that. This one here uh, there is ice inside there. So, does it work? No, it doesn't work. And I didn't expect it to work because uh, it, it's not, you're not going to produce any more heat from having salt water. The only difference is your salt water is going to be able to get colder uh, and not freeze. And that's what we kind of saw there. So, if you want to feed your animals, your dogs, your goats, your whoever is outside that you're feeding, uh, if you want to get them water, uh, best bet is to get a heated water bowl. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and as much as these guys enjoy their oats. <laughs> uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, please uh, leave them down below or comments. And if you have any other ideas on little things that I can do over the winter, um, please, again, leave them in the comments. And uh, I read through them and I get back to everybody. And uh, until next time, take care. It's all gone. <laughs>